Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak and this is ProstateVideos.com. On May 21st, the U.S. Public Health Task Force issued a final report on its view of screening for prostate cancer. And their recommendation is that routine screening should not be recommended to men of any age, any race, or any risk for this disease. They did so because based on the best available information, it appears that the benefit is either very small or none at all, but more importantly, that there are significant harms to the whole process and that the harms outweigh the benefits. Now, many people might say, well, what kind of harms could there be from screening? Well, doing a blood test to measure PSA is not causing much pain or suffering. But if the test is considered abnormal, then a man will have to go on, undergo a biopsy, and biopsies can cause side effects. Many men will undergo more than one biopsy in order to find out whether or not cancer is present. So they're subjected to repeated biopsies over time. For those men that are diagnosed with prostate cancer, there's a significant risk of getting side effects should they undergo treatment. The various treatments all have somewhat similar side effects. They can mostly affect a man's sexual function and urinary control, and other complications can occur. So when you add it up, the chances of getting a side effect from treatment are much greater than chances of avoiding dying or suffering from prostate cancer. In a recent study that was done comparing men diagnosed with prostate cancer who got treated or did not get treated, there was no significant difference in their survival at the end of 10 years. Now many of you are going to be surprised by this information. You've either read or heard from people or from doctors that screening has many advantages and no one talks very much about the harms. But all we can do is provide you with the best information we have and then ask you to make a decision about what do you want to do. Do you want to get tested or not? And the message I would say to people as, as, is as follows. Getting tested should be done if your goal is to do everything possible to minimize, minimize the chance of being harmed by prostate cancer. But don't get tested if you want to maximize your quality of life and, in your view, the odds of being harmed are outweighing the odds of benefiting. So it's like making a gamble. In some ways, it's like buying an insurance policy. We buy an insurance policy in the hopes we won't need one. We don't buy it expecting us to need one. You get tested for prostate cancer in the hopes that it won't find anything. But realize that if you start that process and you end up being diagnosed with prostate cancer, most of the men who we treat are not benefiting from the process, but they are being exposed to the potential side effects of those various treatments. So what you can do is participate in this decision with your doctor. Ask your doctor questions about whether or not there are good reasons in your case to consider doing it or good reasons not to do it. Some doctors will be making the decision if a patient decides, you know, doctor, what do you think I should do? So doctors may be in the position of making that decision for you, although I do not think that's in your best interest. Because only you can decide how much risk you're willing to take and whether or not you think it's worth it and each man will view it differently. So at the end of the day, do yourself a favor, learn the facts to the extent that we know them, understand the chances or the odds of being harmed, the chances or the odds of being benefit, and then you can decide if it's worth it for who you are, the kind of person you are, and what concerns you might have. Hopefully you'll find this information useful to you, and I look forward to any comments you may have. Thank you for watching.